Hello, my name is Scott Meek with Diesel Laptops, and today I want to show you a couple tips while using Cummins Insight and looking at live data. First, we're going to need to go to the Data Monitor Logger icon, which will bring us to the screen in front of us. On the upper left, we have predefined parameter groups, which are pre built sessions with parameters that Cummins thinks will be helpful for you when troubleshooting a specific issue. Now, if I choose all parameters, that'll bring up every parameter on the engine. The problem is, there may be a lot of stuff in here that you don't need to see, and it's just taking up space. You can double-click on each one of these PIDs, which will remove them one at a time, so you can choose what you want to remove. But again, we still have a huge list, and this may take a long time to go through. So, what I want to show you is a couple ways to speed this process up. Let's say there's only a couple things that I want to monitor. Let's say I have a fuel pressure issue, or a 559 code. Instead of looking at these pre-built sessions, maybe I just want to look at a couple of these parameters, temporarily. To do so, we'll just click the expansion box in the lower left-hand corner, and we'll go down and choose the PIDs that we want to monitor. So once I find the PID that I want to monitor, I will just highlight it in blue and double-click. Once I do that, that will bring that PID over to the parameter listing on the right side of the screen for us to monitor. So again, if I'm doing a 559, maybe I just want to see fuel rail pressure commanded versus measured, maybe the fuel pump current, duty cycle, etc. Now you notice when I choose these, the data is not being displayed. I'm going to have to click play. Once I do that, now my live data is displayed. If I wanted to remove something off this list, I just have to hover over it and double click. If I wanted to add something new, I do the same thing. I just go back to the parameters listing on the lower left. Double clicking will bring that parameter back to its live state on the right side of the screen. Now, maybe you don't want something temporary. Maybe you want a session that you can use indefinitely. To do that, we can scroll down to the bottom of the parameter groups where you see custom. We'll highlight, right click, and then choose create new group. Now once we've done this, we're going to need to name this new group because this session will be here indefinitely unless we want to delete it. So I'll just call this one low power. And then I'm going to go to the available parameters listing on the lower left. And I will just go through and choose which ones that I want to create or be part of this list. Once I highlight it, all I'll need to do is click the add icon to the right of that. And it will move it to the group parameters listing. So crankcase pressure, click add. And it's now in the group parameter listing on the right side. So I'm currently building a session that I can use now or later. It will be here indefinitely until deleted. And you can do this for low power, drivability, regeneration, whatever type of symptoms you have that you need to monitor live data for. Once you've got your list completed, all we have to do is click OK in the bottom center. And now we have created a custom session that will be here indefinitely. By double clicking on that, you'll see the live data will then be populated to the right side of the screen. If I wanted to remove any one of these quickly, I can just double click on it again. But what if I want to remove or add something indefinitely? Well, I'll right click back on low power and go to edit group. Once I've done that, I can add or remove whatever I want from the group that I created. Now in this case, let's say I just wanted to add the turbocharger commanded versus actual percentage for the actuator. Highlight, click add. Once I've done that, I click apply and now it's been updated. But you'll notice that it hasn't taken effect until I double click back on that session and then it will update it. So if I go back to low power, double click, you'll notice the update takes place. Now let's say that I wanted to record this and take it one step further. To record this session or whatever session is currently being displayed on the screen, I'll need to go up to the record icon on the toolbar in the top center of the software. Once I click log data, I am now recording. So if you look down here at the bottom center of the screen, you'll notice some green numbers. That means data is currently being recorded. Now, if for some reason something happened on the screen while test driving and I needed to make a note of that or create an event, all I have to do is hit the space bar one time. When I hit the space bar one time, that will log an event or it will put a marker inside of the recording so you can see what the values were when that event happened. And then all you need to do is put in a note of what that event was. So you'll see that we have an event take place. And then whenever we're finished, we click stop. Once we do that, we're just going to need to name this file. So in this case, I'll just call this low power. 
Now once we name the file and we save it, we have to figure out where this path is. So we'll need to go down to our file explorer in the bottom left of the screen. And once open, we'll go to the C drive, intellect, insight, and then logs. You will need Excel or you will need some sort of program that reads a CSV file in order to see this. But we just double click on our file and then open with the associated program and then we can look at our live data. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you for choosing Diesel Laptops and we hope you have a great day.